Hunga Tanga Hunga Haapai exploded with such force that it sent an atmospheric shockwave completely around the globe. The threat of further tsunamis around the Pacific has passed, but the eruption has produced a record-breaking number of discharges, even reaching 200,000 in a single hour. And as the volcano's explosivity began to intensify, the amount of lightning emerging eclipsed that seen during any other eruption ever recorded. But it is just one among 50 volcanoes that are in continuing eruption status globally. And while it may seem like we're hearing more reports about volcanoes erupting, it doesn't actually mean eruptions are becoming more common, but they are getting bigger and nearer to humans, which is why we have become more aware of them. Generally in and around the world, there are 20 volcanoes erupting each day. Volcanologist, Professor Emeritus of Geophysical and Climate Hazards, Bill Maguire, strongly asserts the link between rising temperatures, climate change, and the reawakening of some volcanoes, like the eruption of the Geldinger Dalar volcano in Iceland on the 19th of March 2021 after being dormant for almost 6,000 years. It is also the first active volcano in the area in about 800 years. A lot of ice has been lost over the past 100 years, and the faults there are a lot more active. Maguire explains that as the ice melts, the crust is bouncing back and then releases pressure on the asthenosphere, which reduces the melting point of the mantle, and so more magma is generated. Polar ice melt is causing global shifts in the Earth's crust, as the ice sheets melt in Greenland and the Antarctic. When the faults are ready, earthquakes can be triggered with no more than the force of a handshake, and when volcanoes are located near those faults, they in turn become more active. The other thing happening is during the monsoon, trillions and trillions of liters of water pour into the basin, which is soaked up by the ground and which adds pressure on the fault. As the climate warms and the monsoons get more severe, this could trigger earthquakes. More and more evidence is emerging of how very small weather-related or climate-related changes can trigger geological activity. While climate change can't cause things in the solid earth that couldn't have otherwise happened, it can cause them to happen earlier and cause them to cluster. The Akatobias for CRI Radio news.